Well, here we are at Carrow Road in Norwich for today's potentially enthralling game. And uh, to describe it along with me, Martin Tyler, is Alan Smith. This match is Norwich City against Watford. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Well, he's a crowd pleaser because when he gets the ball, you just don't know what's going to happen. So many possibilities with him in possession. Thank you, Watford, they know they're better than they showed in that draw at home in their last game against Brighton and Hove Albion. Yeah, they did, and neither set of strikers really were on the money on the day. They missed some chances, and as a result, it was a, a stalemate, nil-nil, but uh, hoping to see a few goals, but I still think it'd be a draw. And for Norwich City, this is the selection the manager's gone for for this game. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. And here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. It's a free kick, and that's all it is. The referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these free kicks. Needs it here. Whipped into the box. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. And that's what the coach would want, to stop the supply into the middle. Threads it through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. He's in now. Hit the bar! Another shot! Oh, charge down. So close, inches away. But they are playing well. I fancy him to get another chance and uh, get the noses in front here. Danny Welbeck gives it away. Marco Stieperman. Now Hughes. Switch of emphasis. The shot's on! The shot gets blocked. And that's dealt with the problem. Gerard de Lefeu. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. Well, he's still looking for his first win in this his second competitive game. But, of course, he's unbeaten as well. Yeah, he was steady, wasn't it? Nothing too spectacular, but uh, certainly something to build up. Dini. That will help ease the pressure. Hernandez. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Hernandez. And it's out of play. Etienne Capu, Dini, Gerard de Lefeu. Welbeck. Now, can he take them on? And shoots! It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. He has cleared it well. He heads it out of play and it will be a throw in. Can go in from here. Well, they kept up the pressure, didn't they? But it's finally been stopped now. Gerard de Lefeu. Now Hughes. He's got his shot off now. Got his laces behind that one. Took his eye off the ball, but not a bad effort. Alexander Tete. Marco Stieperman. Puki. Good defensive clearance there. And in he goes with the tackle. Dini. Danny Welbeck.
Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Going forward well. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum now of Hughes. two minutes of added time. Danny Welbeck. We're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half time. The start now of the second period. Very weak challenge. Got to be. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. And in it goes. Throw in to come. Hernandez. Lewis. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes. Still 45 minutes to go, of course. He's worked hard for the team and uh, hasn't scored, but very nearly did. Hitting the woodwork. Well back. Gone for placement. Got his bearings wrong. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. Alexander Tete. Marco Stiepermann. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Norwich City, they'll be facing Fulham away from home. Yeah, I've heard a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Etienne Capou. So how about Watford and the next game, Alan? Probing with the pass. Well back. Corner. Substitution for Watford coming off the pitch. Number seven, Delaford, to be replaced by number 37. Roberto In goes the corner. corner. Up for grabs here. Hit it well. Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. Time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Can really get at the opposition here. The shot's on! Danny Welbeck. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Well, in it goes. Well, that's good defending. Must take the lead here. No, he's missed it. How is this still level? Oh, you'll be thinking about that one, tossing and turning in bed tonight. That was a bad miss. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. That's a foul, free kick. Well, there are other options from the bench. Got the tackle in. Time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go, to Lewis, Hernandez, just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception, striding forward purposefully, 
well back. No nonsense defending from him. Oh, what a chance that was, and what an important interception. The value of anticipation from the defender there, brilliant from him. Oh, it's still goalless here, not much time left. What about their next game, Alan? Well, Norwich City go up against Fulham. They fought pretty hard, but haven't hit top gear, so I think they'd be fairly pleased if this finishes level. Read the play well. 85 minutes played, five to go. Hernandez. Alexander Tete. Lewis. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Real belief that they can win it. Shots on here. Another chance, really. When are we going to see a goal, Alan? I don't know. I mean, with a better technique, a call ahead. He'd have scored there. Danny Welbeck. The pass threaded through. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? He has scored. Well, a certain amount of relief, I think, from the players as well as the fans. A lot of times... They've come close, it looked like it was going to be one of those days, but now they lead, eventually, 1-0. Well, we were about to describe the final moments here as a draw, but we've got a winner now, a fantastic late, late goal. Well, you have to think that it is a winner as well, Martin. Very little time now for the opposition to come back. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. That's the final whistle from the referee. And that is a win to cherish today. Oh, most definitely, although they uh, made one or two mistakes at the back. The strikers were good enough to win the spoils. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Well, he had a good performance and... Uh, Snatch that late goal to grab the win.